We took delivery of this Model 3 on October 22, 2021. It is a standard range plus Model 3, real wheel drive. Only option we paid for was to have the white and black premium interior. Apologies if it's a bit windy. We did end up painting the aero wheel covers in black. Thank you. I really like how you get the black trim with this newer Teslas. It definitely looks much nicer than the chrome. Also, I've had tint put on paint protection film on the bumper. It's full of snow and stuff in the winter and it's full of bugs in the summer. So you definitely want to protect this bumper with paint protection film for sure. I mean, it's all frozen as you can see. These don't really melt because again, no any heat around here. Pretty much touching the tire. So with a gas vehicle, all of these will melt because of the engine heats up. But on the Tesla, it all freezes up like this. The newer Model 3s do have a automatic trunk. So it opens up like that and you can push the button. It will close it for you. The charge port is over here. Here's the interior, white seats. Two USB-C ports right there, pockets behind the passenger as well as the driver's seat. The button to open the door. Full automatic window. Got the cameras for autopilot. Nice and warm in here and hopefully we didn't have too much wind noise while I was showing you guys the exterior of the car. There's a tint on the roof and the rear glass. This is already factory tinted. But if I didn't, then it would have looked pretty ugly. You would have a line back there because the glass connects together. That's something you need to know about tinting the rear glass. Also think that the Model 3 roof is much darker tinted than the Model Y, which I'm not a big fan of because I love how I can just look up on the Model Y and see the sky. This one just seems tinted out of the factory much, much more. Really like these uh, sun visors with these mirrors and LEDs feels nice and this part is all magnetic so it just magnetically attaches it can slide in and out just like that here's the lights got the same thing here for the passenger again all four windows are fully automatic got the button to open the door you also have this manual lever in case the button doesn't work to open it but the car does tell you not to use that. Like the way you touch the screen and it will just automatically lock like that. Being a Tesla, we do have the frunk. So if I just touch right there, let's go take a look. So you have quite a bit of space here. So you can store a lot of your stuff that you usually have in the trunk right here in the front. I ended up picking up this uh, Tamii mobile phone holder. That's for the Model Y and Model 3. And I kind of really like it. I wish you could have used it like horizontally, but it's vertical only. So you would set the iPhone and we just kind of hold in. Definitely really like this. It feels like it came with the car. At first, it's pretty unusual seeing this here when I first put it on because you're so used to the old kind of open dash. And then this is kind of on the way. But once you drive it a little bit, you get used to it. Love the 15 inch touch screen. I mean, you control the entire car like this. You swipe up and then you can go to your climate, turn on the defroster and then the heater, the rear one has auto heated seats. You can see I'm sitting on the driver's seat. So it already knows that. And it has my auto heated seats on at the moment. Nothing for the passenger. We can go over here to the arcade, play multiple games while supercharging or waiting for something or just the fun of it. Toy box, play around, change the color of the car if you like, if you don't want this to be white. Let's say you wrapped your car a different color. You can go to customize and then from here you can adjust it to whichever color you want, just like that to kind of match it to your wrap, for example. You got the light show, it is amazing. It definitely does a light show, opens up the trunk, all that cool stuff. Boombox, you can turn this car into a megaphone if you like. Emissions, tracks, you can create a song sitting in here. Romance, uh, sketch pad, you can draw in here. Mars, personally I love this feature because it just kind of hides your location when you're filming a YouTube video. I really love that, Rainbow Road, theater we can watch netflix youtube twitch and tesla tutorials in here and then we also have the sentry mode and also the dash cam which records everything um, that 
pretty much is going on. Touching here, we can see the rear camera as well as the side cameras. Energy consumption is kind of what we are looking at the moment. It is minus four degrees, slushy, snowy snowstorm. And if I go over to the trip, the last 260 kilometers has been 150 watt hours per kilometer. And the last two kilometers was 422 watt hours per kilometer. And that's because I have been stuck once already. We have all of our controls. Love that we have a glove box, which is protected with a pin. Uh, fold the mirrors whenever you want to. I haven't had any issues with the folding mirrors when there's like snow and stuff, never an issue. It automatically folds whenever I close the door and walk away. Mirror controls and brightness, pedals and steering. We can have it on chill mode for the acceleration and standard. Steering mode, comfort, standard sport. I love the hold feature. You pretty much drive the car using just the accelerator pedal. And then of course, if you have to stop rapidly, you can slam on the brakes. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, charging, you can see the supercharging there autopilot this one does not have the full self-driving so i didn't get that locks like the fact that you can walk away and then the car will lock and then also close all the windows that's really cool there's the light the standard range plus does not have a fog light i've noticed because uh, the model y does show you the uh, fog light over here display you can go to light mode if you like dark mode only or I prefer auto so it kind of changes during the date and you can change everything from here trips we already went through navigation safety and then service you can see our four tire pressure monitoring system and keep in mind all the Teslas I believe from 2021 they use a Bluetooth tire pressure sensor so do not get the regular ones that work with every other car your Tesla will not sense those other ones you have to get a Bluetooth one that Tesla sells just keep that in mind wheel configuration if you want you can change it to get the most relevant range I guess so we have the Aero V2 covers right now so that's why I set it and then it also updates here as well so about 3,000 kilometer ish the car did get it into an accident two three hundred meters away from the house roads were insanely icy I've never seen our roads like that the car pretty much slid straight to a curb even though it did not look like a big deal it took two and a half months to get our car back and that's two and a half months of us paying a car payment constant nightmare of tesla sending them the wrong part or when they send a part it arrives and it's broken all those things took weeks and weeks of waiting it was not even a big accident there was zero body damage it was all like mechanical it ended up costing over seven thousand dollars just to repair the car overall the repair of a tesla collision has been a nightmare and even today what ended up happening the side that they repaired they ordered new wheels from tesla but they ordered the 2020 wheels so the passenger side has the first version aero wheels and then the driver side has the new 2021 refreshed wheels if you didn't know the aero wheels there's actually two models of them looking through the tesla website if your car has the black trim pieces around it it's supposed to have the newer wheels if you have the chrome you have the other wheels overall repairing a tesla has been the biggest nightmare and this could be Due to the fact of the part shortages, I'm not too sure, but yeah, repairing a Tesla was not a good thing. Other than that, driving this entire 10,000 kilometers has been amazing. It, the car has been so reliable. The supercharger network is amazing. I've taken it so many long trips and it has been fantastic. Mechanically speaking, the car did not show me any signs of issues with the repair. At this point, it's just that they put wrong wheels on the passenger side. I do want to mention if I were to buy it again, I would definitely spend the extra money and buy the long range or the performance. I like the car, but where we live, we have conditions like this where it's snowing at the end of April. A long range will give us more range because of the colder temperatures and also we will have all wheel drive. This is my biggest regret buying the standard range Model 3. I just really wish I bought the long range. If you're new to the channel, check out my other Model 3 and Model Y videos. Also consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.